9, let's solve for the value of x. Remember that when you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, that is equal to a to the power of m plus n according to the law of exponents. So that means that we can write this as 2 to the power of x plus x plus x is equal to 72. Now x plus x plus x will give us 3x. So we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 72. Now we have to introduce log to both sides of this equation. The reason is that what we are actually looking for is the power. And there's no way to get this without the use of log reading. Okay? So introduce log to both sides of the equation. And when we do that, we have log 2 to the power of 3x is equal to log 72. Now when you have log a raised to the power of b is actually equal to b multiplied by log a. So that means that we can write this as 3x multiplied by log 2 is equal to log 72. Now, let us divide both sides of this equation by log 2. Since we are looking for the value of x, right? So we divide this side by log 2 and this side by log 2. Now, log 2 will divide itself to give us 1. 1 times 3x will give us 3x is equal to log 72 divided by log 2. If this is the first time you are seeing us, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss us. Yes. So that anytime you upload videos, you will be notified. Also, give us a thumbs up if you appreciate what we are doing. Thank you very much. Now, at this point, remember the law of log reading. Sorry. This 72, we can express 72 in terms of 2 as 36 times 2, right? Yeah. So, let's write 3x is equal to log 36 multiplied by 2, okay, divided by log 2. So we have 3x is equal to, when you have log a multiplied by b, is equal to log a plus log b. Yes, so that means that we can write this as to be equal to log 36 plus log 2. Everything divided by log 2, okay? So we have 3x is equal to log 36 divided by log 2 plus log 2 divided by log 2. So if we continue to solve, we are going to have that 3x is equal to log 36 divided by log 2 plus 1. All right? Now let's continue. So what we have here is 3x, okay? is equal to, now log 36 can be expressed as 9 multiplied by 4, right? So we have log 9 multiplied by 4 divided by log 2 plus 1. Permit me to clean part of this, please. Yeah. Okay. So I will write this, that 3x is equal to log 9 multiplied by 4 plus 1. Everything, okay, only this one is divided by log 2. All right. Yeah, so we have 3x is equal to, we can express this as log 9 plus log 4 divided by log 2 plus 1, okay? So 3x then is equal to log 9 divided by log 2 plus log 4 divided by log 2 plus 1, all right? So we have 3x is equal to, 9 can be expressed as 3 squared. Now we have 3x is equal to, 9 is same thing as 3 to the power of 2, okay? Divided by log 2, plus 4 is same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So divided by log 2 to the power of 2, over log 2, then plus 1, all right? Now we have 3x is equal to, these two we come down to multiply log 3, divided by log 2, plus this two we come down to multiply log 2 okay divided by log 2 then plus 1 all right now let us continue so we have 3x is equal to 2 log 3 over log 2 now when you have log a divided by log b is equal to log a base b okay so that means that we can write this as 2 multiplied by log 3 base 2, okay? Then plus, this two, uh, log 2, we divide itself to give us 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. 
So 3x is equal to 2 log 3 base 2 plus 3. Now, remember that we are looking for the value of x and not 3x. So that means you are going to divide both sides of this equation by 3. So if you did that, do that, we have 3x divided by 3 is equal to 2 log 3 base 2 plus 3 divided by 3. Okay? So 3 we divide itself to give us 1. 1 times x is x is equal to... So this will give us 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 plus 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. Now, at this point, this is the value of x. So to the most interesting aspect of this video, let us prove that the answer we got is correct. While we do that, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up if you have not done that. Now, this is the question. The question says 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x multiply by 2 to the power of x is equal to 72. Now remember that the second uh, part of it is that 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 72. Yes, that is how we simplified it when we started. So this is where we are going to substitute our x. So our x is 2 over 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 brackets. 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 log 3 base 2 plus 1, right, is equal to 72. Now, let us ensure that the, we solve the bracket first, right? Bracket first according to God mass. So, to solve the bracket first, we have 2 to the power of 3 brackets. Now, the LCM, because this is 1 over 1, LCM of 3 and 1 is what? 3. Now, when 3 divides 3, we have 1, 1 times 2 log this will give us the same 2 log 3 base 2. Okay, then plus 1 divides 3 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, okay, is equal to 72. So what we now have is this, I remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? Yeah, so that simply means that this sentence has 2 to the power of 3 times whatever we have here. So this will divide itself to give us 1. So what we now have left is 2 to the power of 2 log 3 base 2 plus 3. Now remember that when you have a to the power of b, a, a to the power of b plus c or a to the power of m plus n is equal to this to the power of this multiply by this to the power of that, okay? We already know that. We have said that severally. So this is 2 to the power of 2 log 3 base 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 72. Now let's see if this is true. So recall that this multiplying 2 log 3 base 2 can be written as the power of this 3. Yes. So we have 2 to the power of log 3 squared base 2, right? Multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is 8 is equal to 72. So here we have 2 to the power of log 3 squared will give us 9. So we have 9 base 2. Multiplied by 8 is 72. So when you have a to the power of log b base a, all right, base base the same. This is equal to b, this b. So if we should relate this to this, that means the whole of this is 9, right? Multiplied by 8 is equal to 72. And yes, 8 times 9 or 9 times 8 will give us 72. And 72 is equal to 72. Thank you so much for watching. Mm.